In the past 20 years, when's the last time you can recall left-wingers, or I should say Democrats, trying to implement their religious views into law? Now try to think about how often Republicans have tried to do that. It's usually the Republicans trying to do that. And they try to do it based off of Christianity. They have this belief that freedom of religion means freedom to follow some sort of belief based on the Bible. It doesn't include the, the freedom to not believe in that sort of thing at all. It doesn't include the freedom to be an atheist. It doesn't include the freedom to be a pagan or a pantheist or a Muslim. That's their twisted view of what religious freedom is supposed to be about. Not all of them, not all of them, but enough of them, and enough that are in important positions of power, that it matters. Ilhan Omar was criticized by Fox News recently for stating basically this very thing, that Republicans tend to want to try to implement their religious views into law. This isn't about religious mora morality or conviction, because we've seen time and time again those that talk about their faith and want to push policies because of their faith are the ones that simply are caught with the hypocrisy of not living it out in their personal lives. I just remember recently, not too long ago, a Republican congressman who had to retire, Tim Murphy, because he asked his mistress to abort their baby while pushing for, uh, while pushing for a, a ban on abortion. I am frustrated every single time I hear people speaking about their faith and pushing that onto other people. Because we know those so-called religious politicians, when it comes to their life, their choices, they want to talk about freedom. But when it comes to other people's lives and other people's choices, they want to talk about religion. And they're saying, well, how dare she, she, someone like her says this. Look what Muslims do in the Middle East. Um, yeah, that's Muslims in the Middle East. That's not Muslims that are here in the United States. That's not what Ilhan Omar is trying to do. But, but, but she wears a hijab. Yeah, and what difference does that make? She's not telling everyone else they have to wear a hijab. But, but, but if enough Muslims get in Congress, they'll try to implement Sharia law. I, I seriously doubt that, but besides, what kind of risk are we right now of having, uh, a primarily having Muslims in Congress? There's two right now. Does two, having two, is that a real threat of any kind? Even if you were as scared that uh, that's what Muslims are going to try to do in this country? I mean, you have valid points when it comes to how Muslims uh, are in, other, in some of the Muslim-majority countries, sure. But in this country, I mean, the Muslims that are here aren't stupid. They know that it's a Christian-majority country. They're not about to implement something that clashes with uh, the majority of people. They're not stupid. If you have a genuine fear that that's all that Muslims that are living in this country are wanting to do, yeah, that's, that's actual Islamophobia. That would be a, a good definition of Islamophobia. And don't tell me that it's a rational fear. It's irrational to think that suddenly Muslims are going to take over the government. Irrational. It's irrational to claim that Muslims that are in government are going to try to implement their religious views into law. Well, I don't see any of them coming from the right, do you? They're all coming from the left. But, 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 but what? You think Democrats in Congress are going to try to implement Sharia law when we have just two Muslims in Congress? Do you think that they'd actually try to push that if, 
even if there were Muslims as a majority in, in the Democratic side of Congress? Do you think they'd be successful? I mean, where is the risk of this in any way? There's, there's no risk of this. But you still have the fear. And you're not going to claim that's Islamophobic? You're going to claim that's a rational fear? Really? Do I like Islam? No. No, I don't. But I don't have an irrational fear that they're going to suddenly take over the government. I don't have an irrational fear that, oh, Sharia, they're going to implement Sharia. No, I, I don't have an irrational fear of that. And let's make it clear, that is an irrational fear. There's nothing rational about that. That's why it's called Islamophobia. But there are Muslims that want to do female genital mutilation on their children. Do you see Rashida Tlaib or Ilhan Omar pushing for that? Do you see any Democrats pushing for that? Oh, that's okay. Do you see anyone really defending that? Do you see anyone in government trying to defend that? It's illegal. They're not supposed to be doing that to their children. Now, maybe you could say, oh, well, they're not trying to do enough to stop it. Okay, maybe that's a fair argument, but that's certainly not the same thing as them pushing support for it, pushing that we need to normalize that. Sorry, no. Your fears are irrational. 